And now it's time for the nationally known Dan and Dave Show. Take it away, Dan. A fine program may contain language which may be offensive to some listeners. Therefore, it may be in the best interest of some listeners to tune in to WGHR at a later time for more alternative programming. Everybody, this is Dan Punk. <laughs> what? What's up, Dan Punk? What did we just hear? We heard uh, the fuck boys out of San Francisco, California, uh, with the song called Stick Fish. And I believe that was off their Love American Gladiator style EP. That is, that is correct, sir. Uh, put out in 1991 by Truth About Fonzie Records, which is really just. The late Maddie Love's own record label. Right. Right. Anyway, that started off the Dan and Dave sh- podcast show. Number three. Number three. Dan. Uh, I'm Dave Punk. I'm Dan Punk, I've, as you already know by the uh, sexy voice. Um, Thanks for joining us again. Yes. We, oh, God, we love it, man. I'm, um, I'm so glad you came back. 
for yeah, more. Yeah, so if you want to know more about us, if maybe you somehow got a hold of this without listening to podcasts one and two, so you don't really know what's going on, feel free to visit our website, which is dandpunk.com, and uh, there you'll find just a shitload of information Lots about of us and the podcast and the show that we used to do, the radio show. And all the, we try to put out, it's a work in progress. We're constantly putting more information about the uh, bands and labels and releases that we played on the show. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's, it's actually turned out to be kind of interesting to it look is, at. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how you been Dan since oh, uh, my God, podcast since number two? Two. Yeah. It's been wonderful. I, uh, a week ago, yeah wow it's been a yeah. week man a whole Six. week i mean it seemed to fly by in seconds i, I remember i had um there was a monday right in there and a tuesday and then, and then do you, you remember anything specifically that happened mm, no um okay let's start off the next set here in the dan and dave podcast show um this is a band all you can eat fronted by a gentleman by the name of Devin Morph. <laughs> um, and I think that's his real name. I think that's his honest-to-God birth certificate name. Uh, yeah. um, anyway, he got mad at us at one point because um, there was one song by his band, All You Can Eat, that we just played incessantly and to the exclusion of... Of all the other songs that his but it band, was such a great song. It, it really once. I mean, we did it as a joke. We loved the song, but we we were playing it, and then he got onto us, and then it became a joke. After he got mad about it, not mad, mad, but he was joking with yeah, us. It, yeah, it, 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 we took it as yeah, okay, it's on now, so <laughs> we're gonna play every show. But anyway, this is uh, the song is called "This Diecast Metal Has." I don't even have it queued up, Dan. Oh, well, and it, well, you know that. So I'll fill up a little time. This is the number one played song of the Day to Day Show. It was the song we played more than any other song. I don't have it. How the fuck do you not have this one? Oh, no, there it is. I was about to say, dude. The seven inches sitting right there. How do you not have it? Okay, let me get the turntable spinning here. Um, is it on the right speed? 33, 45, 45. Check. All you can eat with this diecast metal has life. This is off of their with salad bar Ooh. seven inch on Wajal Mac Records back in nineteen ninety one. Pachoo pachoo. Thank you. 
someone will walk inside But it's not Veronica My sweet suicide I miss Veronica A little more every day I miss Veronica I sit beside her grave And then I think about that night Wonder why she took her life Well, you lose Veronica Just like you, the bitter dude, just thinking of yourself. Suicide, you live and die for you and no one else, no one else, no one else. Yeah, 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 yeah. I miss Veronica beneath the mistletoe. No happy Hanukkah if she's six feet below. Yourself. Suicide, you look and die for you No one else, no one else, no one else Yeah, 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 yeah. I need Veronica for leaving me alone And I knew Veronica, but how could I know? Because sometimes you just can't tell So dance with the reaper, Jezebel Cause I curse Veronica
all you can eat, and I'm a Taurus. I like badminton um, and uh, parasailing. And uh, when I'm not out adventuring, I like to sit at home and relax to the Dan and Dave Show. Ah! Devin Morph, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, not just gentleman, just one dude sitting there <laughs> listening to this. Well, podcast. if uh, if we had to, but you did say ladies, so if we get a bunch of women listening to, us, true enough. I mean, my not wife bad. might be jealous, but you know, we're just I'm just giving y'all oral pre- pleasure, not uh, no touching involved. Oral, oral, uh, oral, a u right? No oral. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome <clears throat> okay that was uh no empathy with agrippa agrippa that was off of their agrippa saw off your horn seven inch on roadkill uh prior to that you heard the captain nines and the nicker bucker trio yeah and this was off their uh split ep with the uh the fuck boys who uh Bookended, or who are bookending this particular episode. Anyway, uh, meaning that they are the band we played first when we started the show, and they will be the same band. Well, obviously, they will be the same well, band. Well, it will well, be well, the well, band well, well, that we end the show yeah, with. Yeah, that's information for those of you who happen for some reason to miss episode podcast ones and twos. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, anyway. I did not finish. Let oh, me, I apologize. So the uh, it was all the Fuckboys, Captain Nuns, uh, and the Knickerbocker Trio split EP uh, released. Oh, and it's called, actually, it's called Most Small Fires is a little kind of sub name of that. Anyway, that was released in 1993, by, and it was in conjunction with of Heart Punch and Truth About Fonzie Records, which they're, they're really just... The two bands, their own labels. Right. Uh, anyway, the uh, song was called uh, Let's Burn Something. A rock and, rock and roll song there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good one. Um, prior to that, we had Sloppy Seconds with mm-hmm. a song called Veronica. Mm-hmm. I like that song. That one's a, That's a catchy. That's what you call pop punk. Well, they're a good, they're a good band. Pop punk. They're Sloppy good. Seconds. That was off the Destroyed uh, LP or CD, if you happen to have it, whatever. Destroyed. Um, Toxic Shock Records. Yeah, that was out. a little bit of Indiana punk mm-hmm. rock there. There you go. Uh, and also in the Midwest, uh, from Chicago, you heard the Bull Weevils, um, uh, from their Whipple, not Whipple, but Ripple EP <laughs> put out in 1993 by Underdog Records. The song that you happened to hear was, uh, Repeat, Repeat. Repeat, repeat. Oh, that's right. It was. Um, yeah, and of course, starting off the set, we had All You Can Eat With This Diecast Metal Has Life. All right. Well, um, what are we doing? Now we got well, a theme. We got a theme. Coming we got up, another we? theme. And, and, you know, the, when we were younger, 20 years ago or so, we had a lot of, We actually, we were in our 20s. Even though we weren't teenagers, we had a lot of teen angst. At least I did. We were angsty. We didn't. It, it wasn't teen angst. It was just. It was now. It was, it was just twenty year generalized old. angst. So some of these songs were really great because yeah, you know, this because it really fits that mood and you know it's kind of lovey, kind of but angsty want desire need. Oh, oh, what? Oh, nothing. I'm sorry. We're gonna start this angst set off with one of my favorite cuts. From a band called Crimp Shrine, who uh, uh, had several different connections, uh, that Crimp Shrine went on to form uh, Fifteen, right. Operation Pop Ivy, Ivy one of my favorite Pinhead bands. Gunpowder, uh, was a, to name a few. Um, but anyway, uh, the song that you're going to hear is called "Summertime," and this actually comes off a well, originally came off the Lookout double LP compilation called "The Thing That Ate." Floyd back in 1988. Anyway, here the song is uh, Summertime. No way. 
truck machine, every time we're in Marietta, Marietta, Georgia, we eat Polish food with Dan and Dave Punk. Oh. And that was that statement uh-huh. by Doug of Submachine, who was very kind to do that ID for us, is 100% correct. Is my mic on? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that was our angsty, angsty uh, set. Uh, anyway, uh, so we uh, let's go back to the beginning of that set, if you don't mind. Do you mind? Not at all, sir. Well, what about the audience? I assume they don't mind. They have no say. Okay, good. Uh, anyway, uh, we started off that set with a band called Crimp Shrine. Uh, again, it, that was a uh, song called Summertime, and it was from the originally from the thing that Eight Floyd Double LP uh, put out by Lookout Records. It's now, uh, back in 1988, it's now available on CD, which I actually just placed an order for earlier today because... I couldn't nice. find the LP that I used to have. Nice. That's a bummer, though, that you can find your old vinyl. Yeah, no, no, no. But uh, this was rated later. Uh, this song was also on a uh, a Crimpshine CD and LP. Out by the way, put out by I think it was Lookout Records as well. Um, it was um, a compilation called Duct Tape Soup. Hmm. Yummy. Uh, after that, we listened to Assault. With the song Friendship Lost in Time. That's on their Race to Destruction EP. Put out in 1990 by Staple Gun Records. Yes, out of Texas. Uh, following that, you heard a band called Breakdown. Breakdown. Yes, that's correct. Off their Killing Time EP. Put out by uh, put out by uh, Silence Records back in 1990. It was a song called You Ever Felt Like That. Uh, and boy, that- boy, have I. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, it's weird because I don't remember that we was playing this song that much right. back in the day, but right. I think it's a, I, I, awesome I picked it up and yeah, I yeah, really yeah, yeah. enjoyed it. Um, let's see. After that, we heard Love Gutter, Love Gutter with a song called Waste of Time. Time. I don't know why I went up like that. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Self-titled. EP on Black Hole Records back in 1991. And ending uh, that set, you heard from the Tampa, Florida punk band uh, who formed in the 1980s, in the mid-1980s, so they've actually been around for quite a while. Anyway, the band was called The Pink Lincolns, and this was off the CD uh, called Suck and Bloat, which came out in 1994 right at the tail end of the Dana Dave show. So this song probably it didn't get as much airplay as it probably would have had, right. had the show gone on longer. Uh, anyway, the song you heard was called Stupid Me. And did I mention that uh, the the CD was put out by Stiff Pole Records? Um, I'm not sure. But, but well, now I did. Now, now, you, you, now, did now. you know. Absolutely. All right, Dave. Uh, uh, yes, God. Sir. Oh wow! We're doing is, right. it? is this oh. the last set? Oh, of, it uh, is. Uh, but it, I don't know why I called your name because I think. Uh, yeah, you're. This is your pick. This was my pick. This um, is your pick, sir. What we got coming up right now? Or, or, or unless you wanted, you had anything to add? To, I don't think there's anything to add. Okay, I, I'm having a wonderful time. How well, about well, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right on. <laughs> uh, um, we're gonna hear what. From a band called the Radix, uh, I'm not quite sure where they're from, but they've been around probably at least since the uh, late '80s or so. Uh, kind of, a, kind of a oyish band, but not quite. Kind of in that same vein. That though. Um, anyway, this is off uh, seven inch of theirs called "Cruel Times," uh, put out in 1990 by Polemic Records. The song that you are going to hear is the title cut from that seven inch. Cruel time. It's so confused, I'm a man abused, and it feels like it's gonna blow. Take a chance in these cruel times, but which way do we go? Short a shot down the best town, town, and pay them back in land. Expect the worst in bands and hurts when you're shopping for your car. Don't have a lot for cold cash, they get just what they need. And every land screeches to a halt And someone's lost again We've seen it before, but we've seen it again It had to stop when we're in 
хорошие, затянулась петля подозрения. Хорошо, хорошо, хуёво, хуёво. Всемирная девочка продолжает учение. Соблюдай лишь один закон. Соблюдай лишь один закон. Соблюдай лишь один закон. Соблюдай лишь один закон. Кто сильнее, кто ты прав? Кто сильнее, кто ты прав? you just heard there was the band called animal crackers off their seven inch record called seven inch record funny enough 
Um, that was put out by Thrashing Mad Records back in 1991. Anyway, the song that you heard was called You Heard It First on MTV. Uh, nice. Thank you, Dan. You just heard the DC Beggars with a song called D. Gedanken, which means thought in German. Uh, that was off of their You're So Pretty 7-inch on a Rat House Records and D. Gedanken is actually a traditional Austrian, I believe it's Austrian, song. All right. Well, that was in German. Before that, you heard a Russian song, actually, from a band called Grazdinska Oborona, which is a uh, which translates roughly into like a military police or something. Oh, so okay. they're, that's kind of a cool name for a punk rock band, the gotcha. military police. Right. Uh, anyway, right. the song you heard was called "Kto Sinje Tut e Prav." Which uh, translates into, he who is stronger will be correct. That's very interesting, Dan. Yes. Uh, what was, where did we get that song? It was a compilation called, uh, from, I guess, Panks. Panks, Panks. Uh, I think it's a French, right, that's a what. French fanzine. Anyway, they put out these seven inch records and this was a, like a compilation that had uh, Youth Gone Mad and Abolition and Grazdinski Oberona on it in a band called Brainless. Anyway, the um that was put out back in nineteen ninety and this it was this is actually called Pink's Volume Six E P. Yeah. Uh yeah. Before that we heard Johnny Rebel. Good old Johnny Rebel. With Johnny uh Rebel. Take a Stand damn it, where did we get that from? Uh, the, well, he a, released that himself. But, on uh, a, it was CD, wasn't it? Or we yeah, it was a, a CD. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Caprice Records is what he called it. Right. That, uh, you are absolutely right, sir. I think. I think. I think he may still be around, although it's weird. Yeah. Uh, it was. Uh, uh, oh, the, 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 I remember now. The the CD was called Chapter One: Colon The, the Gale. Gale. Right. G A L E, not G A I, like a chick named Gale, yeah. but. So whatever Wait. happened to Chapter Two? What would that have been about? Um, Maybe the gale, the gale was like a big storm and killed everybody. Like a sharknado. What is the what is a gale? It's just the big a storm. Yeah, it is storm, it's a storm, right? like strong wind. I'm just not using. We don't normally get gales where I'm from. No, the lovely state of Georgia in the United States of America. This is correct, sir. I think it's you're on. I what? think that's all I was oh, going to say. Oh, shit. Sorry. About, no, 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 oh, no. Damn. No problem. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't, don't mean to be holding it, things up here. And before that, before Johnny Rebel and the Padded Cell, you heard a band called the Radix out of New York City. New York City? <laughs> that's right, David. Uh, you heard a song called <laughs> <laughs> Cruel Times off their uh, Cruel Times 7 inch EP. Uh, that was put out by Polemic Records way back in the 1990. That started that whole set off. It sure yep. did. What What the hell? Does that mean that we're at the end of another episode here? Brings us to the close of yet another Dan and Dave Damn. podcast. Yes, Damn. it does. Absolutely. Damn. Damn. Yep. Damn. Yep. Sucks. Yep. Yeah, but we got one more song to leave our and then two, and, but but they need to come back, right? We want them. We want them to come back. This two is more this shows? is um just uh, something to tide you over until you get to the next uh, show. Well, um, oh, well, you join us. Uh, you, you can come visit us at uh, d and d punk dot com for. All kinds of information about the show, about the bands we play, uh, old playlists, new playlists, uh, copies of the podcast. You can send all your friends there. Anyway, who speak, is this you? Uh, no, I think I started this show. Oh, nice. I get to announce this song. So this is uh, this is the Fuck Boys, whom we started the show off with. The late, um, did we already say the late, the late Maddie already, Love? Did, did we already uh, give our condolences? In, rest in peace, Maddie. Well, every episode we're bringing up someone who's died. I know, it's sad. That means we're old. In that next set, we're going to, or the next show, we probably will too. Yeah, probably. Uh, this is off of their Rock and Roll Problem 7 inch, released in 1991 by uh, Maddie Love's record label, Truth About Fonzi. And uh, this song is called Hallucinating. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.
I don't know what happened there. The song ended. Shut up. Hold on. I've, I've got things under control. Here. 